channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my skincare routine for 2020. Please excuse the fact that the lighting is not the best right now. I know it's like, okay, lighting on my face, but it's a little bit dark in the surroundings because it's actually pitch black. So anyways, also my hair is like... My hair was bathed this morning, so it's been up all day, so it is getting a little bit messy now. But anyways, I had so many requests to film a skincare routine video from you all. I was like, I've got to film one. Plus I have wanted to film one for a while anyways, but I was like, oh, I don't really use that many products. Like what's really the point in me filming it if I don't really use that much stuff? But then I just thought to myself, you know what? That's the point of the video is to show you what I use on my skin. I'm not gonna pretend I use all these fancy, snazzy, loads of products. Like I don't, I use four or five products and that is literally it. I do not have many steps to my skincare routine at all. And in fact, some of them I actually only started using recently. So for like the past few years, I've pretty much only been using like three or four products. And honestly, my skin is like fine. I feel like the less products I use, the better it is for my skin. If you don't already know, I do have dry, sensitive skin and I also have eczema as well. So I have super, super dry skin. But um, in terms of blemishes and spots, I do realize that I'm very like fortunate because I don't really suffer with that many outbreaks. I had one here, you can see it's kind of going. I had one up here as well and that was like a massive spot there the other day um, and it is going. But apart from that, I really, really don't suffer with that many spots, which I know I'm very, very lucky for. But yeah, I thought I'd show you all my skincare routine since you have all very much requested it. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. I'm not gonna lie to you all, I did put on this makeup just to take off of this video. I'm not gonna lie about that, honestly. I put it on literally about five minutes ago just so I could show you how I take my makeup off, etc, etc. The first step of my skincare routine is obviously to remove my makeup. So I use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and I have been using this for years and years and years. I used to use the more like milk water stuff. It was like more creamy than this um, when I was younger, but now I've literally been using this micellar water for years. And then I use cotton pads to actually take it off. So these ones are just from Sainsbury's, honestly, don't really think it matters where you get them from. You can get them really cheap in Primark, but I do find that they fall apart quite easily. So the Sainsbury's ones are pretty good. So I'm just gonna take two cotton pads. I usually take two or three. It'll probably end up being three, who knows. I just kind of see how many I need at the time because it depends how much makeup I've got on. So obviously this is kind of self-explanatory, but just pop a bit on the cotton pad and then rub it around the area. That I have got makeup on so I haven't really got it on my entire face but most of my face and like I said I literally just put it on for this video I've removed my makeup the best I can with this for now so my skin looks a little bit red obviously just because I've been rubbing it with cotton pads and stuff you can get this Garnier Micellar water from pretty much anywhere honestly you can get it from like Superdrug, Boots, B&M probably, Poundland, literally anywhere and um, it's not massively expensive you can also get it from Primark actually like little tiny bottles like this big I then just take one more cotton pad and the second thing I do is use this simple facial toner and I have only been using this for less than a week so obviously i can't really tell you my honest opinion on it just yet however i will keep you guys updated about it but i did want to include it in this skincare routine because it is definitely something i'm using every time i wear makeup at the minute so it is part of my skincare routine however it's very very new i think this was like one pound 40 something from b and I got it at the weekend. The bottle is made with a recycled plastic, which is amazing. It's cruelty free and vegan, and it's just honestly so good. I had so many requests saying to try out simple products. I basically put a question box on my Instagram story a while ago asking you guys to recommend some skincare products for me to try out, kind of for this video, but also just um, in general. And I'm also thinking of possibly doing a video where I try out your guys' recommendations of skincare products. So if you'd like to see that, please give this video a like and comment down below and let me know. I basically put this on after I've used makeup remover to like double cleanse basically. Um, although, as you will see in a moment, I also kind of cleanse three times um, by using a facial wash as well. So just put a fair amount on the cotton pad and then I'm just rubbing it on where it had the makeup, just the same as I did with the makeup remover basically. And I think it should hopefully just remove any excess that I had missed on my face from before. And it is maybe kind of gross, but you can kind of see a slight discolouring on the 
cotton pad and that's obviously just a little bit of excess makeup that I missed with the micellar water so obviously the toner has kind of helped because it's removed a little bit more makeup. Welcome to my bathroom. We are now going to move on to the next step of my skincare routine, which is to grab a flannel, grab some face wash. And the face wash that I always use is the Clinique Liquid Miles Facial Soap because... I have really, really dry eczema skin, as I said at the start of the video, and so I like to use things that are really, really soft on my skin, and this one is for dry combination skin, so I think this is just perfect for me. I have been using this for months and months and months now, and I cannot recommend it enough. I honestly love it so much, so I'm going to show you how I use it. kind of looks like I'm in the shower now, like the little shower thing, like... I mean, who does that in the shower? I do not know. So, I, like I said, I grab up my flannel and then I just turn on my warm tap and I rinse the flannel under the hot tap until it's like pretty warm and then I will squeeze out the flannel to make sure it's like damp, not soaking wet, but also not like bone dry. Okay, so I then just wipe around my face like so. I then splash my face more so that it's properly wet this time. I then take the Clinique liquid facial soap that I was telling you about earlier and I just squeeze about a pea sized amount onto my fingers like so. And I then rub it into my face all around. Again, being pretty gentle and it should foam up. Furthermore, I will splash my face once again and make sure that all of this soap is off of my face. For the final part of cleansing, I again take my flannel for like the third time and rinse it again and then I will just wipe my face with it. To dry your face, I'd recommend using a separate towel to your body towel so that you're not getting bacteria on your face that was on your body and it will help to prevent any extra blemishes from coming out on your skin. And I'd also recommend dabbing your face to get it dry rather than rubbing it because that's going to really irritate and make your skin sore. Due to my eczema and dry skin and also sensitive skin, I have this Cetraben cream. And I'm actually prescribed this from the doctors, but I'm pretty sure you might be able to get it on boots if you also have dry skin. But you might have to go to like the pharmacy section. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, mine's basically was prescribed from the doctors. So I just pop a little bit of this on. Now we're gonna move on to the final step of my skincare routine. Look what it is, it's my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream and as you may or may not know, this is something I honestly swear by. I've been using this for a year or so now and I love it so, so much. Um, I do double moisturise, yes I do, because my skin is just so dry, but you obviously don't have to have dry skin to use this, this is just a great moisturiser in general. If you wanna just apply it before you put makeup on or something like that, it's so great. It looks like this, it's a really jelly mixture. It's not really like cream, it's super, super soft. And it's a water-based cream, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's just so moisturizing honestly I could not recommend this enough and now as a finishing touch if you want you can add a little bit of lip balm I usually go for Vaseline when I'm going to sleep However, I also really, really love this Jack Wills Berry Bon Bon lip balm. I think I'm going to put this on right now. And there we go. My skincare routine is done. And look how glowing my face is. Considering I have dry skin, can we just appreciate how shiny and glowy it looks? Yes, I know it might be a bit too glowy for some people's taste, but it does soak in and get a little bit less shiny as time goes on. Don't worry. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.